क्लास टेन फिजिकल साइंस चैप्टर एट पॉइंट थ्री इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर अर्चिता मैम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस चैप्टर हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू एनकाउंटर टर्म्स लाइक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस ऑफ द कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस ऑफ अल्यूमिनियम सोल्यूशंस लाइक दैट सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट the substance which conduct electricity in solution or in molten state and undergo chemical change during the passage of electricity are called electrolytes electricity pass hone ki wajah se agar koi chemical reactions hota hai kisi ek system mein to use hum electrolyte kehte hain if we see the characteristics of electrolytes electrolytes are generally compounds okay then they dissociate into ions in polar solvent or in molten state agar wo solution mein dissolve hota hai kisi polar solvent mein ya fir wo molten state mein rehta hai tab hi wo ions mein dissociate hota hai the ions of electrolyte conduct electricity with increase of temperature ionization increase and consequently electrical conductivity also increases so due to passage of electricity electrolyte undergo chemical changes so these were the properties of the electrolytes now we would see electrolytes are mainly of two types like uh, weak electrolyte or strong electrolyte weak electrolyte the electrolytes which dissociate partially partially means it is not going to completely dissociate wo puri tarah se nahi tootega into ions in aqueous solution are called weak electrolytes but what are strong electrolytes the electrolytes which dissociates completely in aqueous solution into ions are called strong electrolyte strong electrolyte mein kya kya examples ho sakte hain sodium hydroxide सोडियम क्लोराइड हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड वाटर सॉरी वाटर इज अ वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एंड मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इज एसिडिक एसिड द फॉर्मूला इज सी एच थ्री सी डबल ओ एच अमोनिया द फॉर्मूला इज एन एच थ्री एंड द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट विच डू नॉट डिसोसिएट एक्चुअली द सब्सटेंस विच डू नॉट डिसोसिएट आर कॉल नॉन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट अब इसमें क्या क्या हो सकते हैं शुगर हो सकता है अल्कोहल हो सकता है ऑयल हो सकता है ये डिसोसिएट तो नहीं करेगा इसलिए इसको नॉन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट बोला गया है नाउ वी वुड सी इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस क्या होता है सम केमिकल कंपाउंड्स विच डिसोसिएट इन मोल्टन स्टेट और इन सोल्यूशन इन टू आयंस एंड कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दीज कंपाउंड्स ड्यूरिंग कंडक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी थ्रू देम अंडर गो केमिकल चेंजेस सो वी कैन से इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस इज अ टेक्निक दैट यूज डिरेक्ट करेंट टू ड्राइव अदरवाइज नॉन स्पॉन्टेनियस केमिकल रिएक्शन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पास करके हम एक सोल्यूशन में इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कंडक्ट करवाएंगे जो कि उस सोल्यूशन के सब्सटेंस का डिसोसिएशन की वजह से ही पॉसिबल है see the diagram given in the slide anode is there cathode is there if you see in cathode cations are getting attracted or moving to uh, cations are moving toward cathode whereas in anode anions are moving towards anode since positively charged species are moving towards cathode so we can say cathode is negatively charged electrode and since 
negatively charged species is moving towards anode so we can say it is positively charged electrode hence we can say the electrode which gain electron from anion and convert it to atom is called anode at anode anion donates its electron and is oxidized to neutral atom hence at anode oxidation reaction goes on so the reverse is for the cathode the electrode which releases electron to cation to convert into atom is called cathode at the cathode cation accept electron from the cathode and is reduced to neutral atom so cathode reaction reduction reaction goes at cathode during electrolysis the electrolyte as solution or in molten state is taken in a container and two good conducting metallic or graphite plate are partially dipped into the electrolytic solution generally this container is called voltmeter and these uh, dip plates are called electrodes now we would see electrolysis of aqueous solution of copper sulfate using copper electrode the aqueous solution of copper sulfate acidified with dilute h2so4 is used as electrolyte this electrolytic solution contains h+ cu2+ cations and so4 2- and oh minus anions between the cations h plus and cu2 plus the cu2 plus ion has greater tendency to be reduced so cu2 plus ion in solution takes two electrons from cathode and is reduced to copper and is adhered on the surface of the copper cathode thus weight of copper cathode increases copper anode gives up two electrons and is oxidized to cu2 plus ion and remains in solution weight of copper anode decreases the concentration of the electrolytic solution of copper sulfate remaining constant in the picture you can easily see impure copper is taken as the anode and pure copper is taken as the cathode as the reaction is going on the anode is getting thin and cathode is getting thick it should be remembered that at anode oxidation is going on and at cathode reduction is going on the salt solution which we are using as electrolyte is copper sulfate next we would see electroplating electroplating actually refers to a process that adds a surface layer of metal to another type of metal ek metal surface ke upar dusre metal sir dusre metal ka deposition ko hum log electroplating kehte hain 
इलेक्ट्रोप्लेटिंग हम गोल्ड से कर सकते हैं या फिर सिल्वर से कर सकते हैं या फिर जिस भी एलिमेंट से कर सकते हैं जो हमें चाहिए यू मस्ट हैव सीन द गोल्ड प्लेटेड कॉइन्स सिल्वर प्लेटेड कॉइन्स सो दीज आर इलेक्ट्रो प्लेटेड विथ दोज मटेरियल दीज कॉइन्स आर नॉट एक्चुअली कम्प्लीटली फुल गोल्ड और कम्प्लीटली फुल कॉइन्स इलेक्ट्रो प्लेटेड मीन्स इट इज कवर्ड विथ सम सम मेटल सो हेयर वी वुड सी इलेक्ट्रो प्लेटिंग विथ सिल्वर by this electroplating method actually cheaper metals like iron copper and alloy are coated with costly or non corrosive metals like silver gold nickel chromium etc electroplating is done to protect the object from corrosion and also to look objects beautiful in the process of electroplating with silver electrolytes used for silver plating are generally sodium or potassium argentocyanide solution AgN3 solution may also be used so oh, the electrodes used are at cathode the object to be electroplated is made the cathode an anode a block of the metal to be deposited is made the anode so in this picture in the slide you can see the spoon needs to be electroplated with silver so spoon is used as cathode and that silver metal is used as anode so using this electrolyte and electrode the electrolysis is continued up to the time when the layer of silver has been formed of the desired thickness at last the conclusion what you have read in this full chapter or presentation all electrolytes are not same some are strong and some are weak during electrolysis electricity must be passed for the dissociation of the electrolytes and cathode is negatively charged and anode is positively charged